Chainlink price prediction July 2020. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, we'll be looking at Chainlink news. Chainlink is one of the only few coins with positive news coming out about adoption which is what we like to see we'll be looking at chain link price we'll be looking at technical analysis i'll be showing with you exactly how i'm trading chain link so this is not after the fact I'll, I'll be sharing with you post you can see here back in 15th of june chain link bison would be 350 375 and you can see this was posted back in early late june and this was before chainlink broke out and we've traded chainlink really beautifully i'll be showing with you how we've traded it and i'll show you proof not just after the fact oh i bought chainlink here and you can go watch my videos i've, I've made been making a couple of videos uh, a week on chainlink showing with you exactly how i'm trading i used to talk about chainlink to ten dollars and it's almost near ten dollars and now so i'll be sharing with you that and then uh, more importantly i'll be sharing with you how you can get into chain link if you've not got into chain links and i'll be sharing with you price levels if you've already bought chain link i'll share with you the price levels that we are looking at uh, for chain link to get to so uh, this is exactly this is what was shared in and live on the group i'll sh i'll be i'll talk about that in the end of the video let's get into chain link so chain link had a huge breakout it's one of the only few coins in start of uh, since chain link started it's, it's been an uptrend most coins if you look at they've had huge downtrends even ada and v chain chain link since it start i know it's a later cryptocurrency compared to some of the other currencies a crypto a crypto coins so but chain link is one of the only few coins that's in an uptrend so it's really bullish to see it's breaking out it's finding some daily support as long as it stays above the daily guys and consolidates further like this i think chain link could have another push up but i'll get into that let's have a quick look at some news so like i said chain link is one of the only few coins with positive news coming out all the time we can see train link utility drives link price but people are saying that uh, uh, a correction might be coming so i'll talk about my thoughts on a correction and pullback is not something that is bad and one of the main helps for chain link has been the defy connection you know chain link partnering with some defy uh, co co coins people you know in the decentralized finance market using chain link nodes that has helped chain link price push up and some more new news coming out i think this is one of the main news that i like chain link integration brings data feeds to binance defy projects this is a big news you know you know, already know how much of a big player Binance is that's where I mainly trade people ask me which exchanges I trade uh, Binance OKX Coinbase and BitMEX would be the main ones I'll leave the links below if people are interested but those are the uh, Binance is probably one of the biggest players and we can see Chainlink uh, working with them and we always see new projects integrating Chainlink that's obviously a good thing to see and the real life use cases is growing for Chainlink and one of the main news I've seen is Deutsch Telekom T Systems is now a Chainlink node operator so really good news for Chainlink I personally don't trade the news. I try to use my technical analysis to get in and out. That's what's made me money. I know people just buy and huddle. They see prices go up and then down. If you're investing for four or five years, that's fine. But for me, I want to know exactly where I'm getting in, where I'm getting out. If you don't know that, guys, I mean, that's what's made me money. Being in the cryptocurrency market for three, four years. I use a trading strategy. You can use mine even on the monthly. Uh, you get access to this. Uh, unit courses and see how uh, my introduction to how i trade and that's what's made me money trading you know and investing and hodling hasn't really worked for me apart from bitcoin uh, most a uh, lot of cryptocurrencies let's say it's best to get in a good trade in four or five years if there's a project that you like that could work out investing but i mainly invested in bitcoin i own some chain link usd but i prefer to trade in and out so now now get into the fun part of the video so what are my thoughts on chain link so chain link is finding support in this zone uh, that's near the daily moving average uh, one of the key parts of my trading strategy is a simple trading strategy that i use moving average is more advanced stuff but i try to teach a simple one and then um it's found some support it's trying to get back above the four hourly uh, where i would look to take a new trade is a break above here guys a pullback and that's when i look to get in on the youtube videos i show exactly my trade strategies where i'll be looking to buy you know this one was the strategy was shared and then in our educational content i do it live i posted this live trade as you can see chain link bouncing from that four hour pullback and that pu that pullback was a really good trade this was the four hour pullback that i was showed you on the live uh, live stream back in a uh, well, couple of couple of weeks ago so now Chainlink is finding daily support. I do think Chainlink will have a new move up. Uh, if you 
a gun to my head, I think it will have another push up. The question will be, can it break into new highs? This is a huge resistance, um, the 100,000 Satoshi level. So if it, if it can break above it, great. Even if it pulls back, it's not bad. We've seen Chainlink pull back massively. The question will be, when can we get in? So I'll, I'll try and let you guys know on YouTube when I think Chainlink has bottomed up. This was one of my calls, you know, dumped about 60%. We've had bigger pullbacks previously, you know, 40%. Uh, but gun to my head, I think if it consolidates, like I said, at the start of the video and breakout, I think there will be another push up. The best trade was here when I made a video and posted it. We had about 80%, 90% move up. I don't think there will be another 90, 100% now. It will be in the later on. If it consolidates, we should get another nice move up. So that's my thoughts on Chainlink BTC. Um, I want to, I'm waiting to get in now. I'm still in 25%. So uh, the way I trade, I get in good trades. I hold most. I'm still in 25%. See if we get that bounce. If not, I look to buy if it gets lower or if it breaks out. That sort of, uh, in a nutshell, my trading strategy. Again, I really recommend having a trading strategy you can check out mine but make sure you have one so Chainlink USD the the post that I shared with you earlier was below here guys uh, when Chainlink pulled back into this red zone I've shared this in in the YouTube video as well this was the buy zone in Chainlink as you can see and most of it I sold at the five dollar level because I didn't think it was going to break out initially I didn't just buy here and then hold for you know a hundred percent trade and then it broke out. I kept hodling and then I took more. I took some off. I'm still in twenty five percent and I do like to hold some chain link USD as long as it's in an uptrend. I wanted to buy some more on pullbacks. Unfortunately, it just kept running and didn't give me the ideal pullback. So that was a four hour pullback as well. Now chain link is sideways consolidating. It can it head towards the ten dollar mark push? I think if this is a fourth wave up and we break above eight point two five level that is let me share with you that's the 618 fibonacci level if it can get back above it uh, i do think chain link will have a push towards the 10 dollar level if it can do that i look to buy some more if it doesn't i wait for my moving average to catch up and look for a trade towards a that's a big fibonacci level as well i shared with you these fibonacci zones you know you can see how 618 uh, the two extension and 2618 has worked really well so previously we used those for targets and they worked well as well so that's my targets for chain link uh, my next target if it can break above the 618 level would be the $10 level and 2618 Fibonacci so so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you have enjoyed it. if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button I do some free YouTube live streams once a month so I will be doing one soon maybe next weekend so make sure you smash that like button and turn on the notification button so you get notified and also check this video out top five small coins to explode this is a really good video I highly recommend you check it out for small coins that can be breaking out so thank you very much for watching this video if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to end the video guys my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on chain link do you think chain link can have another big move up comment below your price prediction for chain link and let's have a discussion whether you like chain link or not if you like chain link you can talk about things that you like or just your price prediction if even if you don't like it let's have a discussion we want to talk about uh, in a in a proper way not just saying it will go up it will go down and have an argument i want to have an open conversation and know the good and the bad and make good investing or trading decisions so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below your thoughts on chain link check out the group if you're interested i'll leave the links below so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much